me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me here today. On this channel, I do like to bring you a lot of hair related content, more specifically with wigs. I do like to throw in a little makeup and lifestyle videos as well. So if that's something you're interested in, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. And if you're returning, Hey, Shake My Fit. All right, y'all, so we got another synthetic wig review. I feel like I've kind of been off the bandwagon on the synthetic wigs. You may or may not have noticed, like I just have not been doing a lot of them lately. I've been doing a lot of other videos. I still do my human hair slaves now on Mondays. Make sure you catch those on Mondays. I just haven't been on the synthetic train. And I think it's because I've just been a little unimpressed <laughs> to be honest like i don't have no other word i literally took about a two to three i think it's more like three to four month break of shopping for wigs like i went on a whole hiatus i have not purchased a wig synthetic wig in months so recently I just went shopping for some and so you're going to start seeing these jokers pop out. <laughs> I got several wigs coming to you. I just I just felt like shopping again. That's all. Like I took a long, long break because I just I wasn't feeling them. But they started to impress me a little bit more. So I started purchasing. So make sure you come back for the upcoming synthetic wig reviews as well. All right, y'all. So today we're going to be reviewing an Outre unit and it's in the style Dion. Now I have it in the color DR Chocolate Swirl. It is from Outre's Melted Hairline Collection, which means she's supposed to already come pre-plugged with a natural hairline. She comes with HD transparent lace. She's heat safe up to 400 degrees. Um, and she comes with a five inch deep part here. So I'm not gonna hold y'all too much longer. Let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing, the styling, and the installing of this It's only right, it's what I deserve. Love, tell me what you done for. Alright y'all, so I had to come on real quick with this voiceover to give you a warning to never use this Ebon Tint spray in this cool deep brown color because this is what you're going to get right here. Like ridiculousness. Like what is that? What is that around my hairline? Please tell me somebody. <laughs> That's what happened when I used that cool deep brown. I tried to wipe it off. That didn't work. Then I had to use um, a mascara wand to try to blend the color back in. Stay away from the cool, deep brown. You've been warned. <laughs> also, this is what caused that weird, like, cast all over my forehead. It was all over my forehead. And I couldn't really see it in my ring light. Um, I think I noticed it later, but... Yeah, that's why I had this ridiculous cast all over my forehead like that because of this tint spray. Cool, deep brown. Stay away. All right, y'all continue watching. Leaving your affection for me at home Tell me what you've done 
on Miss Dion. So, I kind of got like mixed feelings about this one. <laughs> From the stock car, I thought I was going to really, really love this style. Let's, let's take another look at this stock car because I'm not feeling that this is what I got at all. I ain't getting that back. I ain't getting that back. It's cute. It's still cute. It's just not giving me what was on this stock car. So it it is nicely layered, right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting the layers. Um, it's just not an even flow. Like I'm not getting the same <laughs> thing on both sides. Like, you know, the hair kind of wants to do its own thing and go in its own direction. That could be a little annoying. Um, but see, this is what I was talking about on why I have not shopped. I've just been unimpressed. Um, color is beautiful. This chocolate swirl is always a winner in my book. Like, this chocolate swirl is a hit. Um, it's just okay. Like... It's okay. The style is just okay. As far as texture, it is like giving me light, silky, more yakky, to be honest. It is more on the yakky side, but, you know, I feel like there is a little silk up in here, too. The hairline was okay. I did go in and pluck it just a pinch more, um, and only a pinch because it would have taken me forever, and I just didn't feel like... <laughs> spending all that time on it like I just feel like this hair is just not flowing right now so I keep messing with it to get it to at least look decent in a standstill place like let me let me just get it together so I can leave it alone it's just not flowing for me and I keep having to do that so this that's a whole another issue for me like it should just flow <laughs> effortlessly and it's not what I'm getting. Yeah, it's just all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. I'm just giving y'all my honest tea. All right, so what else we got? Nice luster. It's not all super shiny at all. Um, I got her laying nice and flat. She looks like she's blended pretty nicely with the HD Transparent Lace. I did add my um, foundation powder as well as uh, my contour powder around the hairline. Now, did y'all see that infamous mistake? Oh my god, I just bought this and I will never ever use this again. This is even the even tint spray in the color cool deep brown, honey. Don't touch it. I will never touch I don't know. I have never experienced that. I was like, what is this? What did I just spray on my hair? Did y'all see the cast that was going around? Like the most ridiculous thing ever. I have just never experienced it. This is going in the trash. I will never use that again. Never. <laughs> I'm going to stick to my uh, just straight up deep or dark brown. What is it? Deep brown? Deep brown. Cool deep brown? No. Nix that. So this is a nice comfortable length at 20 inches. I love me a 20 inch. Like That's probably one of my favorite lengths. 18 to 20 inches is like perfect length for me. Um, the density is nice and full, for sure. It's nice. This is a very nice density. Not super heavy full, but nice density full. Another con for me, y'all, this joint is shangling like crazy. I'm shedding and tangling all over the place. Like, I might get a, little, a couple little glides without the tangle, but it's coming. Like, I keep getting snagged every so often. It just happens, and I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of shangling. Like, I didn't want to come out the gate with my first synthetic wig being like, womp, womp. <laughs> but that's how I'm feeling. I'm like, eh. It didn't excite me like I thought it was going to excite me. But it's okay. Sometimes that's just how it works. All right. So, let's jump into the price. This wig's price range is between like $45 to $55. Definitely mid to high. You know, shop at your own risk. As always, I will leave a shopping link down in the description box below. So feel free to check that out if it's something you're interested in. I also have a playlist of Strictly Outre's, well, it's a combination of the Melted Hairline Collection Wigs as well as the Perfect Hairline Collection Wigs. So if that's something you're interested in as well, check that description box below. Check out that playlist. There are some very nice wigs in these collections. Um, but I feel like Outre is just starting to repeat wigs. That's how I'm feeling. Like, you're just repeating <laughs> the same wigs you've already come out with, and you're just giving them new names. Like, come on. We're not crazy. We're not stupid. 
please, 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 PSA, come on, come on, come through with a little variation, a little differentiation, like, come on, I need, I need a little more. This is why I haven't shopped in months. <laughs> this is why, right here, I'm just like, um, I'm losing interest, like, come on, keep me interested in these synthetic wigs, or oh, I'm just going to continue to stick to human hair. They don't fail me at all. All right, so that's pretty much all I have on Miss Dion. If you have made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave me this little purple umbrella with the rain because we on some purple rain, purple rain. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling purple rainish today. <laughs> Yes, leave this emoji down in the comments below so that I know you made it to the end, Shook Muffin. And you know I truly love and appreciate you for that. I thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Truly appreciate it as always. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not. And I will be sure to catch you beautiful people in the next video. Bye, y'all.